We're going to switch gears and go to Open Mic Radio. It is now 9 o'clock in the morning on the 8th of March, 2019. And we're going to get you woke up here a little bit with a little bit of music. This is Loose Loose, and it's called Feel the Love. Give us a call at 874-5676 and keep this pledge drive moving. Trying to make a leaving. We fuck on some material, but really don't do religion. Superstition don't listen, you don't listen to a higher vision. Seeming that there's something that you got that I've been missing. Oh, what is it? I can hear it in my mind. I feel a surging through my bones. I can sense it with my eyes. I feel the feeling deep inside my soul. So maybe you feel it with the hate, the people that lies, the race and the struggle, and race and the trials. I come with the joy, I see that it's mine, I think that it's time. But we realize, get out of my pride. We're new to mind and you. Why you fear in love? What are you so afraid of? What you so afraid of? Ain't you feeling love? Walking around, don't get me. Let me fill you up. You know just what you need. Let go and feel the love. Feel the love. Feel the love. The love. The love. Possibility, keep it popping with preparation. Keep the hostility holding us hostage. Creations of our own doctrine, prayer for options. The essence of eating in the garden. The plastic of seeds exceeds abundantly. But we acting to think of forgetting, feeling the failure. Falling the sickest that we believe in. That we fighting the feeling, fighting the fight worth fighting for. We can fight the feeling of falling in love and living a lie. We can fight to live in the light the way. So many clearly rebuking the hate, rebuking the lies, embracing the struggle, embracing the trials. I come to the joy, I see that it's mine, I think it is time, but we realize we're not ever proud. We need a mind to get why we fear in love. What are you so afraid of? Ain't you feeling love? What are you so Walking around, don't be me. Feel the love coming to you this morning on KOPN Columbia 89.5 FM, Mid Missouri source for in depth news, diverse talk, and music of the world. More than radio, it's your community radio coming to you on the air 89.5 FM and streaming live on the web at kopn.org. 
All right, welcome to the program. It is Open Mic Radio Friday, March the 8th, 2019. Cloudy outside there, but a bit warmer. Maybe some rain tomorrow, but warmer for sure. So maybe spring is going to get on in here pretty soon. I hope so. Been a long winter, it seems like. Anyway, hope you enjoy the weekend. Either way, swing on by if you're in the area, 915 East Broadway. A big thank you to Alex Campbell Graves. Of course, that's DJ Requiem for coming down and spending some time with me last week. Interesting stuff. Great conversation. I learned a lot about DJing and sort of the technical side that I really wasn't very aware of. And he's a very talented dude. Anyway, you can catch uh, DJ Requiem out and about. He's always uh, gay and he does a lot of stuff around town. And he's also available for uh, private events and stuff like that. So anyway, DJ Requiem, good stuff. All right. Lots of fun when he's running the turntable. So check it out. All right. Okay. Good to be with you this morning. I hope things are going well for you. You got a busy show lined up. I want to make sure I do the venue and the show rundown as well, which I missed last week due to the fascinating conversation I was having with Alex. And then I got chastised afterwards. A bunch of people sent me text messages and said, well, how come you didn't say what was going to be on the, uh, what was happening at Rose or what was happening at the Roachport store? I had to go find it myself. <laughs> so anyway, I apologize. I didn't realize that people were actually listening that closely. All right. So today we'll, we will do that. And I'll make sure we give a rundown of the events that are happening around town. And we have a couple of guests that will be with me today. I'm expecting some of the guys and perhaps girls from Loose Loose. And then we'll have Shannon from uh, Mercer and Johnson and maybe Chris Gephardt as well. We'll have to see uh, Mercer and Johnson are playing tonight as well as the Missouri Monsters at Rose a little bit later. Uh, we'll go through all that. But anyway, I'm expecting uh, members from both of those bands here at some point, and we'll see what happens, all right? Okay. Um, yeah, I think uh, probably Shannon at the bottom of the hour. We'll 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 have to uh, see when we get the guys from Loose Loose in here. They should be here any minute. But in the meantime, we'll play another song. This one is called Wrong Way. I'm playing songs from uh, from Loose uh, Loose Loose's most recent release. It's called Sanguine, and it's an EP of five tracks, and they're all really good. This one I'm going to play right now is called Wrong Way. And as a matter of fact, they were on the program here on the 8th of February. As a matter of fact, just one month ago today, we had Isaac and uh, Jacob and Zach were here. And anyway, I'm not sure who'll be here from the band this morning, but uh, some of those guys. And uh, Anyway, they played the song Wrong Way a month ago, and it was actually the first time that it was ever aired. And so I appreciate that, being able to uh, kind of have the scoop on that one. But we're going to play it again right now. This is once again, uh, Loose Loose from their new release called Sanguine, and the song is called Wrong Way. You listen to it here on Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia. It's Mike. I'll be back in a few minutes. Heartless. Heartless. 
Oh, yeah. Great stuff there from Loose Loose. That one's called Wrong Way. Once again, that was debuted on this program about, well, actually one month ago today. I appreciate that, you guys. And we're looking to have uh, a few of the members from Loose Loose here with me at some point during the hour. We'll see when they roll in here. In the meantime, I will tell you that it is Open Mic Radio, and my name is Mike Hagan, and it is Pledge Drive Week here at KOPN. So I'll take a few minutes to try to convince you to dip into your wallet or your checkbook and... Uh, support this program and this radio station. I have a few uh, things to bribe you with as well, uh, along with the premiums that the station has for really any kind of pledge. First of all, all pledges, regardless of the level of the donation, will uh, get uh, 10 pounds of dog food from Treats Unleashed will be donated in your name. Uh, to the Central Missouri Humane Society. And that's for any pledge whatsoever. So even if you donate five, ten dollars whatever, you'll still get ten, uh, a 10 pound bag of dog food that's going to be donated to the Humane Society. We've already had some 60 or 70 uh, people that have donated. So we're talking, you know, seven, eight hundred pounds of, uh, of dog food. So anyway, it's going to be great for the dogs, and <laughs> it'll be good for us here at the radio station, too. All right? So please consider a phone call here to 573-874-5676. Pledge your support to KOPN. Become a member and support Open Mic Radio. I've got CDs from people like the Ina Cook Band, the Hooten Hollers, Paul Weber and the Scrappers, um, Mercer and Johnson, uh, I got a couple of tickets to Ragtag, and this is above and beyond what you'll get for your pledge to the station. So you would still get the normal premium that you might choose for actually making your donation. And there's all kinds of different things, uh, gift certificates to different places of business around town, including restaurants and retail places and a lot of real neat places here downtown and all around Columbia. We've got we've got such a great group of supporters in the community, actual local businesses that support the station, and we sure appreciate that. And they appreciate your business, and this is kind of like the way that you pay for your radio. You know, if you go out and have a cheeseburger or if you go down to Pizza Tree, which is one of our sponsors here at the station um you know you'll you'll have to pay for your pizza <laughs> and and here on the radio you don't have to pay for it it comes to you all you do is turn on the radio or log in on the internet and you can listen to whatever's live on kopn at any given time but it does cost money to operate this radio station and the way that we do it is through donations from the community at large and that means you and so if you haven't ever before, maybe you would consider, you know, a small donation and uh, something that shows that you appreciate what we do here at KOPN. And we actually do have many, many unique programs that you're not going to hear anywhere else. And the people that bring the programs to you are very into what they do. I'm looking across the uh, the desk here at my friend Diana Moxon, who is a wonderful person, first of all, but she's also brilliant when it comes to the arts in general. And she knows more about the local, regional, and international art scene than pretty much anyone that I know. And I get to sit in here with her and listen to her talk to all kinds of different folks that are in the entertainment and arts scene here in Columbia and mid Missouri. I learn a lot, and I also uh, get encouraged to go see plays and things that I might never have gone to see before. And uh, it's really added quite a bit, actually, to my uh, sort of cultural enjoyment. And, uh, yeah, anyway, let's say hello, Diana. Hi. Hey. How are you? I am great. It's exciting to be here on Pledge Drive Week. Well, a great we get... show lined up coming up this morning at 10 o'clock. Who are you going to talk to today? We are, or oh, I am, going to talk to Suzanne Burgoyne, who is a professor of theatre at the University of Missouri. And they have nice. a opening next week of Waiting for Godot, a very famous Samuel Beckett play from mm. the 1950s. And then after that, I talked to Elizabeth Bratton Palmieri, who's the executive director of Greenhouse Theatre Project. And they have a series of what they call living room one act plays and that's going to be next weekend so they go into people's houses and each weekend they perform in a each sorry each night they perform in a different person's house in huh. a very small intimate settings so cool. they're, they're really fun to go to have you seen anything good lately 
Well, I was at True False last weekend. That's right, yeah. Which was amazing, as always. And I saw lots of fantastic documentaries. So, yeah, I, I, saw, I saw a ton of things. It's hard to say that one documentary is my favorite over the others. But um, I saw, uh, yeah, uh, a lot. So I would say um, Knock Down the House was amazing. American Factory was, was incredible. One Child Nation was brutal, but really mm. informative. Uh, Cold Case, Dark Hummer Shield was very, Yeah, very that's what you told me I should see. Yep, lots of conspiracy theories better than that. Um, and Finding Francis was very funny, which is actually a, a TV show. So, but anyway, that was that was very funny. So yeah, lots of great things. All right. So you did the whole True False weekend, or were you just there for a day or two? Whole True False weekend, uh-huh. yeah. 14, you dragged Tom around 14, with you? Oh, Tom loves it. Does he? Yeah. So, <laughs> and we have friends in town that come in from Chicago, and they don't even go to parties. They're so to the movies they, I think they did 19 films holy smokes uh, four days <laughs> <laughs> the marathon right yeah. well no I mean people are like that with true false it's absolutely uh, they're, they're, they're just rabid with their enthusiasm right they are they are as people are for KOPN of course rabid in their enthusiasm there you go way to wrap that around desperate to call in and <laughs> donate money so that we can stay on the air because we've been here for 45 years our 46th birthday is right upon us next week that's I believe. right yeah and uh, and we can't do it without the community that supports us. One but of, go on. Pardon me. Uh, one of the oldest community radio stations in the country. Uh, I I won't say it's the oldest, but I think it's like number three on the list, something like that. You know, back in the seventies, there were community radio stations all over the place. There were hundreds of them, and now there are very few. Actually, there are very few left. And KOPN is one of the old timers that's still with everybody and we've been doing it like Diana says for almost 46 years now and uh, we're going to keep doing it but to do it we need your help we need you to support the station and that means sometimes going for the greenbacks we need money and uh, it's hard sometimes to ask for money I'm not that good at it but you know I like doing my radio show and I like a lot of the other programs that I listen to when I'm not doing my radio program here. And there's a lot of great stuff on KOPN. And over the years, I've decided that it was well worth my, however much I decide to donate. And I donate to the station as well. I also donate my time like Diana does. And a young man named Brett uh, just walked in. He's a, hey guys. Hi, hi Brett. He's a, a new uh, face around KOPN, but is, is learning, the, learning the trade and wants to yeah. get on the air and start doing his own thing. So we've been training people on how to do radio for, for 46 years here. Um, a lot of people that have gone on to actually have careers in, in broadcasting have been, uh, you know, kind of cut their teeth here at KOPN. We also have had many, many musicians over the years that have come through these doors that have turned out to be extremely uh, successful and popular. And a lot of stuff uh, happens here at the station. And it can happen here because people have a great ability to kind of do their own thing. There's not a lot of constraints here at KOPN. And it really allows for creativity to come through. And that's why we're unique. And that's why we need you to support us, frankly. Mike. Yes. Can you give me $20? Would you like it? I'd give you anything, really. <laughs> you see, it's that easy. It's that easy to ask for money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So, will you give us twenty dollars, please? Whoever's, li- you know, I'm talking to you out there, and you know who, you, you know, Jim and Joe and Jeff and Sarah and Sally and Nancy and Ken and Kelly and you know, I'm talking to all of you out there. So come and come and come down to the station, say hello to us, and bring a few dollars to support KOPN. You can do it online as well. Um, you can pledge securely online, kopn.org, and mm-hmm. you can set up monthly payments too, which is a great way to do it. So That's what I do, you, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You might want to, I do the same thing, you might want mm-hmm. to donate, say, $60, but $60 for a lot of people is hard to find as a lump sum, but you could just set it up so you do $5 a month, which right, is, right. you know, really a cup of coffee. Mm-hmm, or mm-hmm. as I saw in the Guardian newspaper this morning, you can buy a £15, which is about a $25 cup of coffee in London now at Alan Ducasse's Michelin-starred restaurant. Wow. It's a many coffee, and it's... Uh, it's a whole ritual when they serve it. But anyway, so yeah, so $5 a month mm-hmm. won't even buy you, like buy you, buy you a sip of a cup of coffee <laughs> at a restaurant in London. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I, I, I look back over my monthly expenses and, uh, you know, $10 disappears as if it just evaporates out of my wallet. So, um, you know, $10 a month, 
you're probably not going to feel it. Uh, I'm not trying to make a judgment on your economic status or anything like that. But, you know, for a lot of people, $10 a month really is not going to hurt too bad. And that uh, equates to $120 a year, which is a, you know, a reasonable donation here That's at KOPN. We, lo- we, we love those types of donations. So please consider it. 573-874-5676 or on the web at KOPN.org. Brett, what do you got going this morning, kiddo? Man, I just woke up, honestly. <laughs> and uh, late start, I guess. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I think that I'm going to take a second here and give us all a break and play some music because that's what we do on this radio program. And I'm going to see if I can find out where my guests are. But anyway, let's play another one here from Loose Loose. This one is called Toast. And that's what I feel like when nobody calls. I feel like you're like, like I'm just toast and, <laughs> and I'm getting burned. So please make those phones ring and give us a little support here at KOPN 89.5 FM. It's Mike. You're listening to Open Mic Radio, and I'll be back in just a few minutes. Bye. 
there you go. There's another one from Loose Loose. That one's called Toast. It's Mike. You listen to Open Mic Radio on KOPN Columbia. And once again, the phone number is here, 573-874-5676. Consider a donation to support this radio station and this program. I'd like to do a rundown real quick before my guests get here. I don't I don't think the guys from Loose Loose are going to make it, apparently, but I think that Shannon uh, Shannon Mercer from Mercer & Johnson should be here in a few minutes, and maybe Chris Gephardt from the Missouri Monsters. So we'll see if we can pull that off. But in the meantime, I will tell you what's happening. Uh, the reason we were going to have Loose Loose here is because tomorrow night at Rose there is it's sort of a sort of a band uh, battle of the band sort of thing but anyway it's called the 2019 Summer Camp on the Road Tour and there's a number of different local and regional bands playing including the Barroom Billies Cat Daddy's Funky Fuzz Buster Band and uh, Cricket Fix, Dumpster Kitty, and of course, Loose Loose. And there's some sort of voting. I'm not sure exactly how it goes, but uh, the winner of that competition tomorrow night will get to go uh, to summer camp, which is a great summertime music festival that's uh, not too far from here. So anyway, I was hoping to uh, talk with the guys about their performance tomorrow night. But anyway, good luck to everybody who's playing tomorrow night at the uh, summer camp on the road tour. Barroom Billy's Cat Daddy's Funky Fuzz Bunker Band. Yeah, I said fu- Fuzz Buster. I kind of like Fuzz Buster, too. I don't know, but I won't I won't push that on the guys. Uh, Crooked Fix, Dumpster Kitty, and Loose Loose. That's tomorrow night at Rose. Tonight at Rose, uh, Mercer and Johnson, who I'm expecting here in the studio here at some point this morning. We'll have to see. It's not kind of going as planned this morning. I, I expected to walk into the station this morning and have a big buzz and have everybody kind of running around like, like normal on Friday mornings. It's pledge drive week, and... Uh, you know, to be honest, it wasn't that much action, and I'm, I'm now my guests didn't show up, and no one's calling on the phone to donate any money to help us out here. You know, come on, what's going on? It's Friday, Mar- is it because it's the end of winter, and people are just at the end of their ropes and have been frozen out for three months now, and they're like, I'm not giving anybody anything until I see the sun. Anyway, five seven three eight seven four five six seven six, and. Uh, I don't know. Diana, you got anything to say? I have $10 in my pocket. Yeah, will you donate it to me? I, I, if you play an Ina Cook song. Do you have any Ina Cook you can line up for sure, me? Sure, man. I love, love Ina Cook. Ina Cook. Yeah. Yeah, in <laughs> fact, uh, Ina's going to be here. Um, I forget when. She's going to be in town tonight because she's playing as singing as part of the Africa Fest, which yeah. is at the Missouri Theatre this evening. She's one of the bands that are playing there. They have the Ayo Delhi drum dancers from Chicago that are in town and then they have uh, Ina Cook and Simone Sparks who's here from Columbia. Lots going on at the Missouri Theatre for Africa Festival. Yeah. Hey, there's Zach. All right. All right. Let's see now. Who else we got? There's some loose loose in the Isaac's here. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, switch gears here real fast and we will say hello to Zach and Isaac from Loose Loose. How you guys doing? Doing all right. Wonderful. How are you? I'm all right. Hang it up. Yeah. Yeah. What uh, I was just mentioning that tomorrow night at Rose is the Summer Camp on the Road Tour, uh, a show which you guys are going to be playing. Can you talk a little bit about what that is? Sure. Uh, Summer Camp is a music festival in Illinois. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's pretty big, actually. They have... uh, Who do they have there? George Clinton, I think, is playing from P-Funk. Fish... Um, nice. Who else? There's somebody else that I know is pretty big. But it's a pretty big festival. So they every year they go around from city to city and kind of have this quote-unquote on-the-road tour. Mm-hmm. They go to uh, mm-hmm. different cities and find, uh, yeah, there's a schedule. Yeah, I've got the lineup here. So we've got Zed's Dead, hmm. Big Gigantic, which is like an awesome electronic yeah, they're great. funk oh, thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Umphreys yeah. McGee, which yeah, they're I don't know if you guys have Great jam band. Insane jam band, just like super proggy. Um, grammatic. It looks like quite a few like electronic wow. things. Yeah, grammatic's good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, you know, so, yeah, so they go, they go to different cities and they find local, ba- like local bands that... They think could fit the bill or can, you know, maybe contribute to the festival, and they kind of have a battle of the bands of the sorts. Right. On. So we are on that list for tomorrow against four or five other great bands from around town. Yeah, yeah. It is voter based. So, you know, everybody does their set. I don't know when the voting is takes place, but at some point in the night, 
people write down who they think should make it through. All right, so it's by the people that are actually there yes. listening at the place. Yep. Yes, yes. Okay. All right, so tomorrow night at Rose, if you go down there, you'll get to see some real good music, and you'll also get a chance to vote for somebody uh, to make it on to the summer camp bill, which happened. When, when is that... Uh, When's the festival actually go down? I think it's May twenty third or something. May twenty fourth like through the twenty sixth. All right, man, Isaac's on it here. He's got he's, the, he's got the info. He's made got on the it. data. <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, so that's happening to uh, tomorrow night at Rose. What else has been going on with you guys? We we talked about a month ago or so, and I know you've had a lot going on. You released your new EP, which I've been playing songs from this morning. As a matter of fact, awesome. I love the song that you actually played here a month ago. I think it was Wrong Way. Called Wrong Way. Yeah. And I actually opened the show with Feel the Love, which is a great jam. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, thank you. All right, so what's uh, what's up? You guys did True False. You've been playing shows all over the place. Yeah, about? yeah, definitely. So we had our uh, like listening party slash like release party for the EP, and that was like fantastic. We sold out Cafe Berlin for that, mm -hmm. and had our friends uh, Ice Cream Socialism, which is like another <laughs> uh, local band, Classic. play their their final show there, and that was just like an absolute blast. Like a lot of love uh, from everybody, and a really great reception for the new music that we were putting out. Mm -hmm. um, and then pretty much right after that, we. Uh, played true false uh film fest which i think is almost you know from my perspective it's more of a music festival that they happen to play films at just because of <laughs> the caliber and just like just they brought so many incredible like inspiring and interesting music acts Ife. uh to come yeah. play yeah Ife was just crazy yeah they're like this latin electronic fusion thing from puerto rico and just like blew everybody's minds. Have you seen um, any of them? At all? You know, uh, yeah, yeah. I was going to say that I I didn't see one film, but I went and saw a bunch of music. There last you night. go. And, nice. uh, and it was I, I had some great experiences too. There was a young man named Jimmy Collins that I saw yep. who, who was at um, actually performed at one of the local churches or whatever before Ray Fitzgerald, who's my Is favorite he singer songwriter. Oh yeah, I think uh, it's Peter, Peter Collins. Oh, Peter Collins. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No uh, very skilled guitar player yeah. and, and with a very super unique voice mm -hmm. and uh, just real real solid uh, performer. And then I saw Ray, who I love, and a number of different. Uh, local and people who weren't from around here. Mm -hmm. Fantastic uh, music came out last weekend, yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. We we saw a group called Square Peg Round Hole. I saw them, too. Yeah, oh, man. That they were was great. seriously mind-blowing. They had like, <laughs> all of these like synced-up lights and like visuals to go along with their set. Yeah. They, they were uh, uh, keys, drums, and vibraphone. Diana loved them, too. Trio, yeah. Huh? Just insane. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, to each their own, as they say. Anyway, uh, yeah, okay, so, and you guys performed a number of times during True False. It wasn't just one show. You guys had a number of different like performances. Like three times a day. Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. Mm -hmm. Moving around different places? Yeah. Yeah, so we played a number of busking sets every day, and then we had, like, our, our showcase set at Logboat Brewery, um, where we played, like, a full-length thing. The busking sets are sort of, like, 30-minute uh, sets just before the movie plays. With a full band? Mm-hmm full band dang yeah, yeah it was it was honestly a little bit hectic in the middle of it just like trying to move all of that gear and all those people from place to place with like a pretty tight schedule um but we made it happen so. awesome luckily right. our so, last like three performances were at the same place so we were just able to kind of set leave, up and yeah leave our stuff there mm -hmm. <laughs> all right all right uh before we get too far i want to go through a couple other things that are happening tonight and tomorrow because i blew it last week and i didn't do my my event rundown and then i got two or three people actually sent me notes and said you didn't say what was going on this weekend mm -hmm. <laughs> oh now the phone's ringing all right, uh, so yeah, tonight, Mercer and & Johnson and the Missouri Monsters at Rose. And if you're not familiar, that's uh, Shannon and Brock are Mercer & Johnson, but when Chris Gephardt plays with them, they call themselves the Missouri Monsters. So it'll be Mercer & Johnson. It's basically a night of Mercer and & Johnson and then adding Chris Gephardt later in the night. So that is a 9 o'clock show, Doors at 8 at Rose. That'll be fantastic, and uh, I'm looking forward to that show. Then we have um, at the Blue Note tonight the Emo Emo Royale oh Emo Royale Two. This must be the return of Emo Royale, featuring mm. tribute sets of My Chemical Romance, Taking Back Sunday, Never Shout Never, Alkaline Trio, and Paramore. 
All right, so if you're into the emo scene, that's happening tonight at the Blue Note. Uh, tomorrow, Casey Donahue and the Preston Airy Band with Hallie Kearns. And let's see, we talked about Rose. Well, tomorrow, once again, Rose, you can see Loose Loose, along with the Barroom Billies and Cat Daddy's Funky Fuzz Bunker Band Ooh. and Crooked Fix and Dumpster Kitty. And those will... Uh, those 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 bands are going to be giving it their all so they can get on this uh, on the summer tour or a summer camp bill. Okay, at uh, the Roachport store tonight, Thresher's Union uh, tomorrow. Overdue bills, real fun stuff. You'll see some blues and some rock and roll there. And let's see what we got going at Berlin. A private party tonight that I wasn't invited to. <laughs> uh, and then, <laughs> you guys, anybody else no. got a party? What's up, you guys? Hey, Cafe <laughs> Berlin people, right? How about a little love over here and get me some invitations to these private parties, right? You want me to talk it up for you, right? A little scratch my back, I'll scratch yours, you know? <laughs> I don't want to go to your party anyway. All right. <laughs> Rat Boys with uh, Jupiter Styles tomorrow night. Rat Boys. I don't know who they are, but I like the name. Ooh. Maybe get, It sounds like a punk band. Anyway, Rat Boys tomorrow with Jupiter Styles at Cafe Berlin. And that's about what's happening around town, or at least the things that I'm going to tell you about. Diana usually kind of covers things a little bit more thoroughly than I do in a little bit here. She'll be coming on the air with Speaking of the Arts in about 20 minutes or so. All right. So, um, Loose Loose. Uh, what else you got planned other than uh, this gig that's coming up Saturday night? I'm sure you got much more on the bill like you always do. There is quite a bit on the bill. Yeah, for sure. I think the next big project that we're ready to tackle is uh, like writing, recording, and producing this new EP, um, which is going to be, you know, the first one was very like R&B, soul-based. This one's going to be in more of like a hip-hop and rap direction. Hmm. A little uh, darker. Yeah, little definitely darker. way, way darker, like thematically. Um and, and again, just like more hip hop groove oriented as opposed to like the R&B stuff we did on the last one. And this is material that you're already writing or that's been written or you're in the process? Most of it's pretty written. Yeah, it's pretty pretty much much written. Like 70% yeah. written. Um, but this project, we're actually going to be like home recording and home producing. Uh-huh. So that I'm sure is, if anybody is like, you know, tried to make music in their bedroom, they they know that it's like pretty. Uh, yeah, it's it's its own animal. It's one thing to like go into the, the studio and have like a, an engineer that like knows all of his gear and you right, know, right. It has like been running sessions for 30 years and like you know can run a tight ship it's a completely different thing to like <laughs> figure out what equipment you need figure out like how you're actually going to like isolate different instruments and stuff uh-huh. so so that's kind of like the next thing on our radar what's um the setup of that in other words are there certain members of the band that are more technically inclined that like to run the equipment and who's doing the writing and uh uh, for, for for this new record? Are we still having the same sort of writing setup as you had last time? Yeah, it's pretty much always going to be the same. I mean, I'm sure it'll it'll change in terms of, like, who comes up with ideas the better we get. But um, with, like, the recording setup, I, I don't know, we're all kind of coming into this together. Isaac is probably the the man of the uh, the most gear and, <laughs> and uh, technology that he's he's pretty... Uh, driven to, towards that, but I'm learning now as well. So we just bought a bunch of uh, like rugs or what were they? Uh, yeah, like Jake sound bought. dampening blankets, yeah. basically for yeah. for isolation. But yeah, I I run most of our like recording sessions that we just like record for practice stuff, just you know to kind of like start preparing for this. Mm-hmm. Um, and I imagine that I'm going to be you know producing the majority of this stuff but at the same time like pretty much everybody in the band produces their own stuff and and like has some degree of acumen with like digital audio workstations mm-hmm. yeah. and like you know running plugins and stuff like that wow that's pretty impressive that's it's not that's relatively uncommon Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, try to keep it in the future. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's it's fairly in line with our other uh you know uh main quality about us which is I think like each of us sort of pursues music individually and like you know all of us spend a lot of time just practicing and writing on our own and i think that is a lot of like the magic of of you know what happens when we come together as a a unit it's just like each of our own individual um voices and journeys into music and so i think like you know learning about production individually is is consistent with that all right. Yeah, well, it, it sure comes together and makes a good sound because I was really impressed by your most recent uh, EP, Sanguine. Thank you. And I'm going to play another song from it right now, as a matter of fact. This one is called 
what's mine is yours. And with that in mind, I would say that what's yours should be ours here at KOPN, and it is Pledge Drive Week, and it would be very nice if I could see the telephone uh, flash, so I know that somebody's calling to support this program and this radio station. The number is 573-874-5676, and, uh, oh, somebody gave me a piece of paper. Maybe I already blew it. Oh, the next five pledges at $100 will be matched. I'm sorry, I should have said that a little bit ago. So we have some uh, generous donor out there that uh, is willing to match up to $500, all right? So if we get a, if we get a pledge for 100 bucks, this person is going to match it, and he'll do that, or he or she will do that up to five times, all right? So the next five pledges or at $100 will be matched. So consider that, right? Your money's even going to go further if you decide to make a pledge right now, okay? All right, it's Mike. You're listening to KOPN Columbia 89.5 FM. It's Open Mic Radio, and here's one from Loose Loose. It's called What's Mine is Yours.
stuff you guys i love it all right it's mike and uh you're listening to open mic radio on klpn columbia that's another one from loose loose it's called what's mine is yours and it's from their recently released ep called sanguine and i've got zach and isaac here with me in the studio love the music you guys Thank you, thank you. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, and I'm not alone. Uh, a lot of people saying good stuff about you guys, so I'm and girls. So just real, real thrilled about it for you guys. I think you got a great future. I was saying off the air, you guys just keep that band together, and you guys are going to be jamming for sure. Yeah, that's that's the plan, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, springtime's coming up. Are you planning on doing any touring this summer or spring? Or are you going to be concentrating primarily on that recording we were talking about? Um, we're hoping to go like play some more out of town shows. It's kind of difficult to like line up your own tour, like you know, with multiple cities. A, a lot of what we yeah. found is like it's it's easier to reach out to out of town venues with like a date range rather than like a hey we're trying to like you know sling a bunch of dates together do you have anything free on this, on this night date, yeah right, right so we're definitely trying to get out and play play like more um you know bigger cities bigger like music markets um if we can line up a tour that would be rad mm. but uh you know it's it's pretty tough yeah we need someone to help us with that <laughs> all right so you heard it out there if there's any uh, ambitious band management yeah. out there booking might, managers yeah really booking I mean, agents i mean if uh, if you're in that biz and you can hook up with these guys i think it'd be good for both of you that'd be sure. awesome so anyway okay so new recording coming up in a little bit are you planning on releasing that this year or do you think uh i think may is probably the goal for that, that one. quickly mm-hmm. yeah wow okay all right, well, we're going to look forward to that. I can't wait to see it, and I look forward to seeing you guys again out and about in, uh, in the Columbia area here next time, you're, mm-hmm. next time you're playing around. In fact, I'll try to come down tomorrow night and check it out. That's going to be a good, uh, a good awesome. bunch of music tomorrow mm-hmm. night. What a fun uh, night. Do you know when, uh, when you play in the group? Yeah, I think we're going to go on around 11, okay. but the show starts, I think, at, at 7. I think doors are at 7, so yeah, show you starts can come at eight. out. Yeah, like doors at 7, show mm-hmm. at 8. Okay, yeah. so once again, that's tomorrow night at Rose Music Hall. You've got the 2019 Summer Camp on the road tour, and doors at seven. Show starts at eight. You got five or six different bands, including Loose Loose, and they're all competing to get a spot on the gig uh, at Summer Camp in Illinois in May. And that'd be cool if you guys had new music coming out and you made that Summer Camp. Thing. Exactly, that'd be awesome, right? Yeah, and that's the plan, yeah. huh? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, best of luck, and maybe I'll see you tomorrow night. Okay. Awesome. All right. Thanks, all right. Mike. Yep. Cheers, you guys. We'll see you next time around. All right. Cheers. All right. It's Mike. You're listening to Open Mic Radio on KOPN Columbia. We'll hear one more from Loose Loose on the way out of here. But I would like to mention again that my buddies Brock and Shannon will be playing tonight at Rose Music Hall. That is Mercer and Johnson, of course. And Chris Gephardt will be sitting in with them for the second half of the night. And they will transform from Mercer and Johnson into the Missouri Monsters. Great bluegrass, stomp grass, hillbilly music. If you like that stuff, you'll really enjoy it tonight at Rose. I was hoping that there would be a happy hour uh, band tonight at Rose, but I do not see anything. So maybe, maybe not, but nothing on the on the docket at least. Other than that, 
you know, enjoy your weekend. Be cool to yourself. Be cool to other people. Listen to some good music. Go out there, see some good films or do something fun and creative. And come on back next week and I'll be with you again. And let's see, next week, I think John Randall's going to come down uh, from the Hootenhollers. Johnny and, and the gang just got back from incredible tour with the Dead South in the UK. They spent most of February touring around uh, the British Isles and mostly sold out shows with, with, with the Dead South. And, and so a lot of people are interested in hearing how that went. So we'll get John Randall to play some songs for us and talk about his fun tour with the Dead South in, uh, in, the, in the UK just, uh, just last month, okay? All right, it's Mike, and had a good time this morning. Enjoyed it. And here is a song called Rewind from the EP Sanguine. Brand new stuff, kind of, from Loose Loose. Keep your eyes out for these guys, people. See 